This is Mr. Markham, a real farmer on a Wisconsin dairy farm. He's beginning his day as he always does, with the morning milking. Everything that you will see in this film happened on the day of the county fair. It's just as you would have seen it on that summer day if you had been there yourself. This is your early morning farm show with all of the day's farm news across the nation and right here in our own county. And right now, the 6 a.m. temperature, 67 degrees in Dairyland. Let's get the show on the road with some music from Denny Blatz and his Farmhouse Five. around the county is, of course, our annual county fair. And this year, the 4-H club has reported more junior calf applicants than ever before, and we're real happy to hear about that. County tractor dealers will be on hand representing all of the major tractor companies. For those resource fans, you will witness some of the finest trotting races ever assembled at the old fairground. Good morning, gang. Good morning. Good morning, Grandpa. Grandpa, you want to try to join us, Why, sure. Today's the day, boy. We're going down to the fair. Oh, you want some coffee now, or wait? No, I'll wait until that gets in. I'm going to Spook House this year. Spook House? Yeah. You think you got enough courage? If he takes Pam along. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I bet he'll want the, somebody to hold his hand. No. <laughs> How many years have you been going to the fair, Grandpa? Oh, I'd say around 48, 50 years. Come on out. Good morning. Morning. Guess what? Fair's coming out of this stuff. How about today or tomorrow? Yeah. I'm going to try and win one of them great big dogs. It only takes one or two balls for me to put in the basket. Last year, how many balls did you throw? And we lost? We never did get that darn bear. <laughs> how many of you guys are going down and look at the tractors with me? I am. I am. Steve? Grandpa? A lot of boys always like to see the new gadgets they have. Don't let you them crawl all over all the tractors. You know, the only thing about going to the fair, you always find Grandpa over by the racetrack watching them darn horses run around. Well, the horse was here before the tractor. <laughs> Well, today's about done. When you finish up breakfast, you can go out and do your chores. I think we'll load the cat right in the back of the pickup truck. Take her over that. All right, Dale? All right. Hey, Andrew, Dale. Mm. Along with the carnival rides and sideshows, the county fair is the farmer's showplace. Dale has raised this heifer himself, and this afternoon it'll be judged.
summer is a busy time of year for Mr. Markham. He's been waiting for several days for the oats to dry so they can be harvested. Now they are ready. So even while the children can enjoy the fair, the combine is put to work. The oats stored in this granary will help provide feed for the cows all winter long. Earlier in the summer, the hay was cut and baled the way it is being done here. These bales of hay are now stored above the barn. Before returning to the fair, animals have to be fed. Cows used to be turned out to the open fields to graze, but now Mr. Markham prefers to use tractor energy to cut the green plants and carry them in the feed wagon right up to the barn. Should be well trimmed. This one is well trimmed. But one thing I didn't like about this one is they cut all the tips off. Here's a class. It's nice and uniform, well filled out, straight rows. And we have in here probably three excellent exhibits in the first place. A little on a higher stubble, and, uh, and get a little more protein up into your saddle because you take get more top corn along with your stock. Yeah. And uh, leave a little more stock in the field. And uh, it's. We've got plenty of horsepower to take about any size that you'd want. I see you got a pretty big engine. Yeah. We could go through a lot of snow in the wintertime. We don't have to warm them up. Good traction. Four-wheel drive. In other words, she's driving with the front end and also the back end. You've got your gearbox down here underneath your tractor and your weight. And as she drives, you've got more traction. How old is she? Just a year. Yeah. Exactly. And then we go according to what you want to do. You can leave your hood up, go in stalks and let it come out. Let everything go out and let the land dry out. Come back down, put your hood down. And as a result, with the hood down, it'll come down and make a perfect seat bed. How and about stones in here? Stones uh, uh, doesn't bother that. Don't wait till these are all gone. When these are gone, I doubt if I can dig up over 4,000 more. You want 10 of them? You don't want to buy them in bunches like bananas, all right? We'll sell them one at a time. It don't make any difference. There we 
give me a bunch of this green. You're going to spend it all anyway. Hey, Folks, how would you like to go to Hawaii for seven whole days? Seven days in Hawaii. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, with who? With, with anybody you want to <laughs> take. You can take me even if you want to. Oh, you take me. Nice. How's that, girl? Oh, Let's see. All right, we got to to the military ball here. Where do we go? Where somebody's going to Hawaii? Change? Sure, we got change. I'll get it to be right back. Okay. It's boys. corn on the cob here. Cars, we pick this out. fresh every morning, and we cook it right here in front of your eyes. It's charcoal roasted right here. It turns to steaming hot, and it's just oozing with pure, fresh Wisconsin cream rebar. you love it. It's the tasty way to eat sweet corn, and if you like sweet corn, you love it charcoal roasted. Here is where we found the secret that locks in the flavor, right here. No, this is good. Shaggy dog, soup brought water, shaggy dog, right here. Try your luck, soup brought water, shaggy dog. Right here, here's another winner. Shaggy dog, right here. Easy, not too hard, not too hard. Let me show you, like that. There it is. Ooh, too hard. At the end of day, Mr. Markham has one last chore. The day ends as it began, by milking the herd. This milk will be on its way to the towns and cities for people to drink. But few will ever think about the farm it came from, or the people that live on that farm. Except perhaps you. For you have just spent a summer day with the Markham family. <laughs>